Good afternoon, my Christian family. I know we don't make videos in the afternoon at all. You know, all my videos are usually in the morning time. And it's fresh and early. My coffee outside. But this is crazy what happened today. Now, my, my morning was perfect, you know. I went, got me some coffee, got me some my, my normal cafe, got me some coffee around, where I, around here. I went to the market. The lovely ladies helped me out with things to get in the market because I was kind of, they would help me figure out some, how to get my point card so I can save on, save on, on food, like, like a, savings, a saving club card, but anyway. So I happened to take the subway into Manhattan. I don't like going to Manhattan much. I don't like Manhattan. But the more the story is why I'm saying this is what I've seen this exact uh, well, it was around lunchtime because when I was coming, I left around 11.40 and I got in the city about 12. So it wasn't really morning, it was really afternoon. And it was, of course it was chaotic, chaotic. Because it's holidays, people going to last minute shopping and whatever. And if you know anything about Manhattan, it's already chaotic anyway. It's crowded, congested. So right now, it doesn't help it at all. But the worst thing that happened is someone took their own life. On the train line that I take, it delayed the whole thing, made things chaotic. But the main thing was the fact that they took their life. Now, I don't know, most likely this person didn't know Jesus, which is sad to say. Um, so the reason why I'm telling you this story is to anyone watching this video, the holidays are one of the most hectic times of the year. Okay, it's the most hectic time of the year. People are overstressed. People are overworked, people, you know, it's just and like today. When I, I left Brooklyn, where I live at, it's calm. Just a regular day. Everyone's taking it easy. And no one's in a rush. People are just going out doing it. They, 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 you know, I, you see my videos. You see my videos. I'm on the boardwalk. People are walking their dog, having a wonderful day, smoking their cigarettes, watching the the, the beach, watching the ocean, drinking their coffee, just having a wonderful, wonderful day, enjoying nature, what Jesus gives us. And as soon as I went into Manhattan, chaos broke out. That's why I don't go to Manhattan. And today, something really, it, it, it's, to, to see someone take their life, it, it just, I, I, I can't really, you know, I, I don't, you know. But I know it happens, it doesn't happen much in New York. Usually people are, are pushed in the tracks because people are just crazy. You know, it's just wicked. We, we live in, we live in, 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 in time. So people are going to be more wicked than ever. And, you know, and it's, and it's kind of sad. That's why you have to be careful. That's why I don't like the subways. But, my whole main purpose of making this video is not to rack on about how bad that is. Is if you're having a bad time, if you're overstressed, this is the time to give it to the only person. It's not, he's, not even, he's not even a person. The only power in the whole universe is Jesus. This is a perfect time to non-believers Even if you, if those, even the Christians are newborn, because I hear sometimes people, you know, this is the time to put your problems in Jesus's hands, because life doesn't fix anything. It doesn't fulfill anything. It may, it, you know, you always hear, the, you always hear the old saying. If it was one thing, it's another thing. Yes. That's the world we live in. Nothing you can do about that. But what we can do is when we're going through something, don't just let it build up. Don't turn to alcohol, smoking, drugs. Turn to Jesus. 
And this is why I'm making this video. Because this is the good opportunity to turn to Jesus. Now, I don't know who this person was. I don't know this person. I don't know what they was going through. I wish I could, could have been there before it happened. And maybe I would have seen the life by talking about Jesus. But that's the whole point of this video. If you're going through problems, you're going through hard times, don't take it upon yourself to try to fix it. Give it to Jesus. And your outcome will be more satisfaction than you, you can never, ever imagine. Because only Jesus can fix our problems anyway. The world can, you know, patch it up as a band-aid and you patch this part up, then this part. Patch this part, then it's this part. You know what I'm saying? This is what life is because this is a fallen world. So we need Jesus to protect us at all times. He is our armor. Today was just chaotic when I came in Manhattan. My, my day started out perfect. And then not only that, other things are going on too with the trains because the trains, is, you know, here in New York, the trains, they're, they're reliable when they want to be reliable. You know, the subway system here is just, you just never know. You can't, you can't, you can't predict anything, but this is life. But we have to always know to put our faith and trust in Jesus. Now, as you know, we still going to go through things as Christians. Uh, yeah. But our prosecution will be less with Jesus than if we didn't have Jesus at all. Now, like what happened today, this person that committed suicide obviously clearly didn't have Jesus. And now this person is in hell. Because whatever this person was going through, there was be, there's being tormented that they took their own life. To take your own life, you have to, it, it takes a lot to take your own life. You know, I've been there a few times. I wanted to, matter of fact, this is what turned myself to Jesus just this year in May. I wanted to take my own life. When I was down in Mexico, when I was facing, the, you, you just don't know. I was willing to, to take it, take it, take, take it there. And, and Jesus was the Holy, the Holy Ghost that I didn't know about was telling me to turn to Jesus before I do that. You see how much Jesus loves us? Jesus loved us so much that he knew I would take my life and he stirred me to him because he knew if I would have took my life down there, I would have been in hell right now, burning like a fire. Because no matter what we're going through, only Jesus can fix it. I try to fix it. I just made things worse. I try to fix it and I made things because we, we're, 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 just, we're just human. We're, no, we're nothing. Jesus knows everything. That's why he always tells us to put our trust with him. When we put it in his hands, we can walk a better walk. We're going to still have bumps in, in the road, but we're going to still be on, at least be on the right road. Okay? There's going to be bumps, potholes here and there, boom, 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 but at least we're on the right road. If we're not with Jesus, then it's going to be like, what road? You know, then you might be on, on a road of disaster. You know what I mean? And you have all unexpected things come in your life that comes, 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 and, you just, and then, like, you want to kill yourself. Like, I was in that situation. I was in that space. I was in that space. I know how that feels. When life is just throwing darts at you, one after another, this is, this is what happens when you don't have Jesus. Now, if things come my way, which they do, I know how to handle them. I just put it in Jesus. And sit back. And it works out. We have to, that's how we have to operate our lives. To prevent things like today from happening. Because I was in that space. That's why I'm making this video. So I can talk about it. Okay? So, and it's the holidays. I don't know, maybe this person has family. 
Who knows? I don't know. God knows. But obviously, they didn't put their faith in Jesus. Because if they did, they would have been alive today, right now. And if I didn't put my faith in Jesus, I would have not been here right now making this video telling you about how you should trust Jesus. Because he's the only way, I'm telling you. Nothing in this world will help you. Even, even if you have money. Listen, you know, celebrities kill themselves too. They overdeal drugs. They're not happy. Even so, you figure, so well, why celebrities kill themselves? They got all the money in the world. Yeah. More money, more problems. You heard that before? I know about that too. More money, more problems. Yeah. It's really. Especially if you're the kind of individual that is not meant to have money. Like if you, when you get a chance, watch videos about lottery curse. That people that won the lotto. Listen to their testimonies. Of course, you're not Christian. You should play, you shouldn't be playing a lot of anyway. But I'm just using this as a as a perfect. I mean, I'm just using this as a reference. People that play the lotto and magically win millions and millions of dollars, it doesn't change their life. It makes their life worse because now that money was given to them, so they're going to do drugs. Get within five years, they back to where they started. The money didn't even help them. It's called the lotto curse. Not everyone knows how to handle money. I'll just be honest with you. Everyone wants money, but not everyone knows how to handle money. But I'm going off the subject. The reason why I said that is because nothing in this world can satisfy our souls but Jesus. That's it. Leave it at that. Don't look nowhere else. Don't think of nothing else. Think of Jesus. That's it. Have a wonderful holiday. Have a wonderful weekend. Please, whatever you do, give your life to Jesus. If you're feeling any kind of way, try to pray, talk to someone, but don't hurt. Never take your life. Your life is too precious. No matter what you're going through, things can always turn out for the best. I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. I love you. God bless you.